Hello there, Torquus Previs is a pretty rare beetle from the southeastern USA. It's the companion of the uh, more widely distributed uh, Torquus Parallelipipedis uh, in Europe called Balkenschröter, also a well-known species in Europe. Torquus Previs seems to be a rare beetle and I'm happy that uh, I could get um, some adults from Benjamin Horink uh, who gave me the beetles last year and I tried to mm, breed them in Kingchi and today now I will have a look whether Dorcus brevis this uh, nice and rare Dorcus species from the US is already um, has already emerged uh, if, I, if we have a look here at one of the uh, this is probably too close to see it here, okay. So here I see a larvae inside of the of this this small spot shows me that there's still a larvae in here. Um, and I don't take it out. And here let's have a look at all all five hundred milliliter. Of course they are very big for a small species like Torcus Previs. Five hundred milliliter is extra luxury, so let's have a look whether we can see something in here. Dorcus Brevis. Uh, what I do, I just open the box and I'm of course looking for adults or or pupas and I think they are they are all they have all pupated now because I didn't have any have didn't seen any signs of I didn't see any signs of larvae here in the substrate. Of course, could also be that they are. They are dead, I have died somehow, so let's have a look what happened. Now here's a larvae of Torcus, still a larvae of Torcus brevis. Uh, let's have a look at her here on the slide. Torcus brevis is um, another very big species, so um, also the larvae of course are small. So this one, what might it be? Let's have a look around two and a half centimeters long and what I do with the larvae I just put it back to the original substrate fill it up with the original substrate it's a kimchi from uh, Pleurotus pulmonarius and I just close it again and then let's wait another one two months now look have a look here I don't see a sign of a larvae, so we can open it and have a look. Also here is a larvae. Um, I don't take her out now, because uh, if you have a you probably can see it here. That place here, the larvae, the back of the larvae, going down to the substrate, just a little bit water. Back. Why do I open them today? Because I've seen already some adults, but I'll show you later. Let's have first a look at these already closed. Uh, here, oh, that, that's a lorry also here on the back of it. We don't open it. We just step to the next one. Quick look around. Here's a pupa. Inside this little hole here, you can see a pupa moving around. We don't open it. Also here, what we see is a pupal chamber. Pupal chamber and a pupa inside, we don't open. So now let's come on. Previs. Yeah. Here I don't see anything, so let's open. And I hope we feel lucky we find um, something. Otherwise, I'll show you the one that I already dug out of the substrate uh, today before I decided to make this video. So, when you're making a video, you want to be sure that uh, something can happen and if you can tell the people something. So, here, I don't see anything in that substrate. So, could be, but there were signs of a uh, lot of grass here. So let's have a look what we missed something. Yeah, here it is. What we missed is a is a pupa 
of a female of Torquus Previs. Now here is, uh, well, it's a pupa of a female because it's pretty small. It's around two centimeters. And what I do in this case is the same that I do with most of the larvae that I find. I take a little pit pot that I have wetted pretty good so it doesn't dry out. And then I make a little capsule to present, to put the larvae in there like this. You can cover it a little bit like this. And of course I take the rest of the of the pot I put around it too and I place it back to the to the container and then we wait until uh, probably one more month or two we have a look whether the female has emerged so this is the poop of a female so if we, when we're lucky we probably find an adult but we will don't find it here because this is also a larvae preparing the pupil chamber. So what more do we have? We have here we have another no other four uh, to to go through and have a look. Also here in the bottom is a pupil chamber and is a pupa inside so we don't open. And here also same here. It's a pupa on the bottom here. You see it, and uh, we don't open. It. So now it seems that we have to go back to the the ones that I already took out of the substrate. Also here, I think this one, this point here, this is a larvae that we see through the substrate. So we don't open yet. Oh, the last one for this check, also the same here. It's a larvae in here preparing the pupil chamber so we have to go back to the two now this goes back to the original uh, box I um, have to keep the the larvae in a cellar where we can um, where the temperatures can temperatures can go back until four five degrees Torcus brevis like parallelus they are very resistant to deep temperatures they survive in branches of trees uh, that are in the open air so in the winter it can go back minus 20 degrees in a branch like that so they have to have a special fluid in the blood so that they don't freeze and now I'm going to show you this is um, probably something else but here I have the two females that I found today, so let's see whether we find them. I uh, uh, also already presented them some uh, fruit and the beetle jelly, so if so that they can eat something if they want. And uh, here's one of the females. I put it on a piece of that stork who's rabbit. Of course, they are very shy. They don't want to uh, be exposed to light. So uh, as soon as you put them under the light they just run away so here's another female it's a nice beetle and the one thing that is good for uh, to, to, to make a difference to Dorcus parallelus is the the color of the beetle that is a little violet so it is not completely black like the Dorcus um, parallel pipetus on, but it's a, re a little uh, violet. Probably we can see it here uh, that the color is a little violet, and the size of the beetle is not very big, especially of the female, it's not very big. It's around what is around two centimeters, but that's already a good size for a female. So I hope uh, that I can present to you in around two months uh, also uh, a male of Torcus. Prairies, uh, wonderful, uh, nice and very special people from the southeastern uh, USA. It's said to be rare and it's said to be this, no, that no, hardly anybody is breeding them. So if you want to try yourself, just keep contact to me. You will find the uh, um, homepage addresses and whatever you need.
at the end of this film. Thanks for your interest. Bye.